What is good, YouTube? We're back with another video. You know, today, y'all know, y'all know, y'all see the title. You feel me? We got Roy Williams powered up. Uh, no abilities on him yet. Y'all see the coins a little bit too low, and the training a little bit too low. But we would have had to pick through this man because water on the street, he gets route tech. And I've been running to a lot of people who play man coverage. So this man right here, I mean, y'all see compared to Joey, like he's pretty much the better um, Kappa's legend or hero, whatever they call him. But he's a goon. He's about to show his worth in this gameplay. He he does a little, little, little uh, ahead of time. He does get a little tutty. I'm just saying. He did get a little, a little tutty. But, you know, we don't got nothing new on the defense. Next, um... Next player I will get will be on the defensive side. I, it will probably just be like a middle linebacker. I was looking at Robert Spillane for a middle linebacker, a middle linebacker but um, you know, we we gotta build up some coins first before we get any anybody new. So um, yeah, I mean we've been working on that, and y'all about to see this game. This game, I, this guy was pretty good. I, you know, from yesterday's gameplay, if y'all want to go watch that, this guy was you know pretty much two three times better than he was because he was adjusting curl flat zones uh flat zones his user was pretty good too i ain't gonna lie like y'all about to see like he he pretty much juked the fuck out of me like it was pretty bad um because i threw a delay fade uh, yeah, actually i'm gonna let y'all see it i'm gonna let y'all see this for y'all selves but um you know for the for the most part of this video it's gonna be cut up and all that and then just so y'all know uh what's going on on all that like towards the end of the video um he ended up getting, like getting three and all that um so i i did end up losing this game i did lost by 10 or lose by 10 pretty much seven he just you know decided to take a three just because i guess but this guy like he, he had defense let me let's just say that because y'all are about to see some reads on offense for me that are super questionable you're gonna be like why did you why did you make that throw or what did you see that made you make this throw or, and all that and honestly i don't know like i guess i was kind of shook to be honest with you um he had that that cover three beater on with the streak though because i pressed everybody and that thing was if he had let that, that fly it would have been gone but anyways the spacing switch play i mean i i run this play i know how good it is but this man was running it second and nine and, you know, he tried to get a little sticky, but I just had to make the tackle there. Um, just, you know, had to make him fight for his yards, for his, uh, his touchdowns, I guess. So, right here, you know, I pretty much had the bag here. And, by the way, I kept on getting hit sticks upon hit sticks. But but look at this right here. L look at this. Look at this box. Look at this box. How is that not a pick six? How is that not a pick six? Come on, now. He's literally right there. He just swats it down. Like, that's a... And any, any, anybody else's situation, that's going to the crib. That's going to the apartments right there. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but he does, you know, motion out the out route, I guess, for the spacing switch. And, you know, he he ends up getting a pretty easy touchdown there. So now it's 7-up. You know, I'm thinking he gave up this Jamar Chase uh, crosser. Why would he not give it up again? You know what I mean? But I guess he doesn't realize that I have a delay fade on the field. I end up throwing the delay fade. He breaks the tackle and... You know, take the hit and then play, but still, right now we're two for two, 95 yards and a tutty, right? Um, but as y'all about to see, it gets pretty bad out here, like this. It gets pretty bad out here, man. It gets pretty bad out here. Um, you know, we do end up redeeming ourselves somewhere down the line. I'm not sure exactly where. Uh, but yeah, like, this guy, this guy knew how to play defense. This guy, I was looking at his user, I was like, alright. Maybe I could beat him over the top with Jamar. Turns out he has Fabian Moreau. He ends up, you know, bagging him pretty much. Uh, so it's third and ten. I go back to the same play, but instead, I was like, all right, let me do something a little bit different, right? Go ahead and throw a delay fade on the field. That in route, I go ahead and turn it to a slant. So, you know, same setup, different day, right? Go ahead and get the seam streak with none other than Roy Williams. And this man is a possession goat. Like, I throw the ball to him and if there's like somebody coming to him i just go ahead press the x button he takes a hit but he still catches it like this man has 
amazing hands. Like it's crazy, like how much he holds on to stuff. Um, but yeah, like right now we're set up on a second and seven. Uh, we can go ahead, you know, try to abuse those seams, or not the seams, abuse those uh, curl flat zones. So you know, we a nice little dot there, I would say, a nice little dot there. Um, we do, we do got some pretty crazy dots later on, uh, and some patient ones, I would say. Like I didn't realize until I think two plays from now or something like that. Or actually, no, I, it was this play. This play, I started realizing. I was like, wait, why am I not getting sacked? Why do I have so much time in the pocket? And then I realized, I looked down at how many people were rushing. There was only two. So I was like, okay, bet. Um, if he's going to keep on sending that many people, something's got to be open, right? I had to try and go super late right there. I ended up trying to throw in the scissors route. Uh, I guess the running back corner. And he ended up playing man there. And Yeah, but hey, close your eyes, y'all. Close your eyes because this, this gets bad right here. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I thought Joey could just beat him instantly he ends up having a, a flat zone out there and he ends up just bagging him instantly but don't worry I redeem myself here trust trust like you know I, I, I had to do something right I had to have like a little I guess uh, some, two people come out the left side Jamar Chase doing his thing on the back side and look he's only sending two people here I have all day to read I am throwing back at the end zone Tutty easy reads easy completion that's what we do. And look at this. I don't really include kickoffs. And I already told y'all, if y'all want to go watch just this video, I don't record kickoffs unless it's a uh, kickoff return. And, I, you know, I try to make something like I did earlier, uh, make the open field tackle. But unfortunately enough, Caleb Farley is not Dion speed. And so I had leverage on him. I just gave it up too quickly. And nobody else was able to rally up on him. And he just scores easy seven. So all that hard work I did was pretty much for nothing, but, you know, hopefully I can get points pretty fast. But, you know, he, he didn't adjust his zones there, and I get an easy corner out there. That's what we like to see, right? So here, I was like, man, I'm completely bagged. I would never, I never, ever call this play. So I'm like, all right, let me make something happen then, right? So I just end up making just like a couple uh, zig routes, uh, in routes, uh, all that type of thing. And that should have been picked twice um, in one play. He, how he drops it, I have no idea. But, you know, I, I would say he got cheated more than I got cheated. Because his reads were pretty damn good. Um, he was able to to know where my user was most of the time and not give me a chance. And that spacing switch too, just crazy. I ended up, you know, throwing a little yachty right there. little yachty, little yachty. And right here, I was telling y'all. Roy Williams gonna get a tutty for y'all, and this will happen right here. You know, I, I got a little in route, little seam route. The seam was actually open too, though. That look, look at it, it gets open super late. But you know, I had to throw a dot to Roy Williams. I don't know what it is. Come on now, that was a fucking beautiful throw right there. But you know, he ends up throwing flat. That Jimmy Graham, by the way, is part of the new veterans. Um, the new veterans promo that came out today actually as of the recording of this video that it was a really questionable throw i didn't think he was going to throw that at all so i was going to try to go down the flat but anyways that's not this nor that right um as, as y'all gonna see he ends up rolling the ball and all that um but anyways the veterans there was like five players that came out one of them being jimmy graham and this man already has the card it came out today today on september 8th and I'm recording this September 8th. And this man already has the card powered up with an ability already. And th uh, this man was not cheap. This man is a stud though. Don't get it twisted. This man has like 87 speed. He has good uh, short, medium. Oh, give me that pick. Come on. Stop swatting it. But anyways, he has good short, medium, and deep route running. I think uh, he hits... I don't think he hits any thresholds for anything. But this man is just fast and he's a stud. And he's 6'7". Look, look at this right here. Like, that Jimmy Graham is just a stud, bro. Like, I want to get that card, but unfortunately enough, he goes for, like, 250, 250K. And as y'all see in the beginning of the video, I don't have that type of coins with me. Like, I need to, you know, I'm just going to keep on playing head-to-head, -head, wait till Weekend League and all that. But by then, uh, when Weekend League comes around, I should have my route tech. I should have my uh, slot with um 
Joey Galloway. So, you know, we're going to have that one-two punch there. Hopefully, I get a tight end by then, too. Um, I was looking into some tight ends, but I was thinking of, like, getting maybe uh, Darren Waller or somebody just to have. But that man Waller goes for way more than I thought. He goes for, like, 70K, and he's on 85 overall. But anyways, you know, we, we got some stuff planned in the future. He ends up on a nice in route. But, yeah, we got some stuff planned in the future for y'all. Um, hopefully, y'all stay tuned. I want to say tomorrow I will probably be posting franchise from the uh, f the Falcons relocation. The only thing, though, I was like, how do you relocate? Because, like, this whole new franchise thing is, like, brand new. And I was just thinking, I was like, okay. So, I looked at the video, and it turns out you have to wait a year. So, I'm probably just going to play this year out with the Falcons themselves, the Atlanta Falcons, and then relocate. Because, like, week five, you have to choose a new city, and then you got to build a new stadium, and then, you know, it's a whole bunch of stuff. But anyways, uh, ends up, you know, space and switch right there, ends up choosing a route. But, yeah, I'm probably going to record Falcons franchise tomorrow. Uh, but I just don't want to skip a year because some people are old uh, or older, and then they're going to start regressing and all that. So I'm probably going to play this year out. This is my mindset, right? I'm going to play this year out, and then next year, that would be, like, a new season obviously right a new season but like a new franchise as well because it's going to be a new team and a whole relocated type thing right um that right there i gotta throw out a sack he almost picked that thing off but shoot, luckily i was able to do what i needed to do there oh right here like i mean josh allen is a goat like he's made some clutch throws for me like like y'all about to see later on but this is unacceptable oh overthrowing a corner route which i need and now he just like does his own there. Look at that. Hey, I can't really be mad at that. He just went crazy with his user with Trayvon Morig. I mean, he has like 91 speed, so I kind of underestimated how fast he was and how agile he was too. So you know, I thought he was gonna be on the inner route and do his thing, but you know, Josh Allen had an overthrow. He ends up making a, making up for it right here. Cause look, look how many people were in his face right here. Look. Four, all four defensive linemen. He ends up throwing it on the money to Jamar Chase. And that Jamar Chase, if he would have never made that throw, I would have never been able to make it this far. That was like at least like 54 yards or something like that. Uh, 50 plus yards. But, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I ended up throwing the same route, same play, Joey Galloway, touchdown. That's, that's I think, the, the best case scenario because I still have two-minute warning. I have all timeouts. I didn't really waste a lot of time. And, you know, it gives me a chance to, to give me, like, to see what he wants to do. And right here, this is, well, it's actually going uh, in the next clip to be fast forwarded, like, times two speed. Because um, I didn't want y'all watching this, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of boring, just him running the ball, running spacing switch, all that. So, but right here, he just throws two drags on the field. I couldn't be able to cover when he goes down. And pretty much, that's going to, like, steal the game, to be honest. Like, he, I mean, it was just run, 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 take all my timeouts. And I don't know if I should have waited to call a timeout here. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the mindset was. I just went ahead and called a timeout right now. And, if, like I said, one first down and the game's pretty much over, right? So, and then I get a connection error on pretty much the biggest play of the game. And he just, you know, finds the mix match. Carter on... Uh, Jamar Chase, that's not really the best matchup you want on the field on a, you know, on a stop you really need to get the ball back and hopefully score. So, I mean, we just went ahead, did our thing. Uh, it's a second to five right now. He comes in slot, strong slot, and that's pretty much all she wrote. Like, I call my last time out just because, hopefully, because we've been getting hit sticks on him, hit sticks upon hit sticks. So, in my mind, I was like, okay, well, then maybe, you know, we could do something with it, right? Uh, he ends up pretty much getting back there. It's a fourth down. Keep in mind, this is a fourth down with one minute left. All I had to do was get one stop, right? One stop. That's all I need. He goes ahead, motions out, and he just throws the perfect dot. The perfect dot. The perfect dot. And I couldn't really do nothing about it because I had to, I couldn't just run over there because he had the in route right behind me. And I thought man when i when i caught that play i was like yes i'm gonna get the ball back i was already thinking ahead i was like okay i'm gonna call this play this play this play this play right and he just ends up throwing a laser like i couldn't really do nothing there but i mean we ended up taking the l um you know we're just gonna go back on this like i mean i'm already recording this is a voiceover obviously but 
you know, hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Franchise coming tomorrow. Stay tuned. But until next time, I'm going to catch you all later. Peace out.